In this video we are going to make this interesting kettlebell design which have very flowing surfaces and also have a great look as you see. It looks very simple and also very interesting to model in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. Now let's begin the modeling but before proceeding we need to change the background in plain white for better visibility of the sketches. So now for the reference sketches we need to choose the front plane and now make a three point arc like this and hold the control and select the center point of the arc and this origin and make it coincident and hold control choose the endpoints of the arc and the origin and make it horizontal and now make a vertical center line from the origin like this and then make a midpoint line like this and now we need to add some dimensions so for this just choose the arc and assign it to 100 mm and assign the dimension from this point to that, that line and it should be 210 which is the total height of the kettlebell and this height should be 120 let's say and now make a spline, a standard spline, starting from this and up to here. It's a two point spline and then click on this spline and drag the handles like this. So that the handles will become visible. And now click on this handle and choose the vertical relation and go to smart dimensions assign the dimension to the handles it should be 30 degrees and the handle value should be 50 let's say and this value should be 150 and now mirror this spline around this vertical line and click ok now we need to make some more reference sketches inside this sketch. So we need to make a circle like this. Make a circle coincident to this vertical line like this. And then make a vertical center line from here up to this circle here. And now assign this vertical length. It should be 25 mm. And the diameter of this circle should be 120, let's say. Yeah, it looks good. And now we need to make one more circle coincident to this vertical line, like this. And uh, we need to assign the dimension. So click, press shift on your keyboard and then choose this circle and this circle. So this will automatically take the distance between the arcs, assign it to 10 mm and assign this diameter to 165 mm. And now as you see the references are ready, so just close the sketch and uh, we need to make some extrusion, surface extrusion. So go to surface, extrude surface. Click on this middle circle and extrude it up to 50 mm in height. Click OK. Now unhide this sketch. And we need some more surface extrusions. This surface and this inside circle 
click on here and just choose this circle and in this case we need to make in the reverse direction because it's a help surface so we need it only 10 mm I like this hide the sketch again and now we need the only half portion of these surfaces so now we now we trim the one side portion so for this choose the surface tab choose trim surface here in the trim tool open the feature tree and select the right plane go to the modeling area and select the faces which you don't want in my case these are three surfaces and make sure here the remove selections is enabled and click ok now make a sketch on right plane make a slant line like this end point should be coincident to here and here and assign the distance it should be 15 and here it should be 50 let's say and now we need to project this sketch on this surface so for this go to curves project curve choose here a sketch on faces so just select this sketch and this face but as you see there is no projected curve because the direction is wrong here so just reverse the projection and as you see the sketch is visible now so just click green tick and now hide the surface because we only need this projected curve so we need to make some sections here so for this go to right plane and a sketch a section like this choose the three point arc and make a three point arc like this click on this point hold control and then choose this projected curve and make a pair selection and similarly choose the another end of the arc and then press control and choose this edge and make it pair selection and click on this point and this point and make it horizontal so that it is tangent to this edge click ok exit sketch and now make the one more sketch on the same right plane but in this case we need to make it at the bottom here so just choose this point this curve and make it pair selection choose this point this edge make it pairs normal to and make sure these two point should be vertical because if these are vertical then it it is tangent to this edge because it's a semicircle or the a portion of the arc which is tangent to this edge and now make one more sketch on the top plane make a arc like this choose this point this edge make it pierce similarly pick this point this projected curve and make it pierce and choose this point and this point and make it horizontal so it will become tangent to this and uh, these sections are made but we need one more section here so for this we need to make a plane and for plane we need to make a reference point first so just select this edge and choose this icon here and choose evenly distributed and make sure here is only one value we can increase the point but here we only need one so it is in the middle and hit ok and now go to reference geometry plane select this point this arc this is this arc and click ok 
so that this plane is perpendicular to this arc and coincident to this point now hide the point and select this plane and sketch on it now make a arc like this and choose this point this curve make it pierce similarly choose this the another point of the arc and then choose this surface edge and make it pierce press normal to select this point and this point and make it horizontal and click ok now the sections are made just hide this plane and now make a surface loft firstly select this section and this this one then this one and in the guide curve select this projected curve and this surface edge and make sure make click on this edge one and make a tangent to face relation because we need to mirror it after modeling so make sure it is tangent to this and then before clicking ok just make a normal to profile relation at the start end and constraints like this and click ok because we also need to mirror about right plane so the surface is made just hide the surface and now we need to make a similar kind of loft um, around this and this surfaces so for this we need to make sections choose right plane like this and make a three point arc like this choose this point this arc pierce this point this surface edge and pierce normal to click on this point this arc and make it vertical and next we need to make the next cross section on the plane one choose the arc like this choose the point this projected curve make pierce and similarly do the same thing with this surface edge and press normal to choose this point this end point of the arc and make it horizontal and now we need to make another section on top plane make a semicircle like this and choose this point this surface edge make it pierce this point and this curve make it pierce normal to choose this point and this point and make it horizontal so now we need one more sketch here so for this we need to make a point here but at this time we don't need it on the middle so we go to percentage and increase it to 20% we need point on 20% from here to here click ok and make a plane coincident to this point and perpendicular to this edge like this click on this plane sketch make a three point arc like this choose this point this surface edge make it pierce and similarly choose this end point of the arc and this projected curve and make it pierce and choose this point and this point and make it horizontal like this and exit this sketch now hide this point too and the plane too because we don't need it and now we need to make another loft by using these four sketches so just go to surface tab, loft surface, 
choose this curve this one third one and the fourth one and here the guide curves so select on the, click on the guide curves and choose this projected curve and go to the guide curves and here select the selection manager and select these two edges and make sure this option is enabled the multi selection option and then click on ok and make sure the open group should be tangent to face because we need to mirror it about the front plane so it should be tangent and now click ok but before clicking on ok we need to make a start constraint should be normal to profile because this is this sketch is coincident to the right plane so it should be perpendicular to the right plane click ok and now hide this curve hide this projected curve and uh, unhide the loft one yeah like this now click on this face and we need to make a sketch for better visibility change it to hidden lines removed view and now make a line like this here to here and here and assign the length vertical length should be 40 and make a style spline a two point a three point style spline then click on this line and increase the degrees 4 like this and then move the points like this click on this curvature comb make it vertical select these two adjacent combs and make it horizontal and equal and now select all the curvature combs and make it equal to each other now it's a fully defined sketch now go to surface make a planar surface like this click ok now go to shaded view and now we need to make a sketch here so for this for this we need to make a sketch on right plane go to right plane and make a three point arc here click on this point this edge make it pierce click on this point this edge make it pierce normal to and make sure this point and this end point of the arc should be horizontal to each other like this now extrude the surface it's also a help surface so 10 mm is okay just click ok and uh, we need to make a boundary surface but before making the boundary surface we need to knit these faces first knit all the faces and merge entities and now make a boundary surface click here here and in the direction to select this edge and this should be curvature to face and this is also this should be tangency to face and make it 100% and make it 100% here also then click ok now if we activate the curvature it looks fine but we only need the portion of this boundary surface so for this we need to make a sketch on the right plane make a vertical line like this assign the dimension this dimension should be 
9 mm let's say and make sure this line should be longer than this boundary surface because we need to trim it so just go to surface trim surface select this portion of the boundary surface and make sure remove selections is enabled and click on the green tick now the unnecessary portion is removed and now knit the surfaces with the existing surface merge entities click ok now here we use fill surface we need to select this edge this edge this edge this edge and this edge and now as you see the surface is generated now on the first two surfaces we need to make a curvature constraint and in the third we need to make a tangent because these two faces are connected to each other that's why the relations are same and make it merge result activated and, and click on green tick ok and now go to surface delete face delete, delete the unnecessary faces this one this one these three faces and also this fourth one and make sure click on delete here and click on ok now the basic surface is ready now we need to mirror it go to features mirror open the feature tree select the front plane go to the modeling area and before going to modeling area activate the bodies to mirror box and then select the bodies from the modeling area and then click knit surfaces like this and again go to mirror now this time we need to make mirror around right plane go to modeling area select the bodies and click on knit surfaces oops go to mirror again bodies to mirror this one knit surfaces click ok and now we need to fill this opening here so for this we need to make a surface fill right click on this edge make it select the open loop tangency um, ok click on this and select open loop not open loop tangency and now as you see the surface is generated here click on merge result create solid and as you see it's a planar surface that's why the sketch icon is highlighted and now we need to make some cutouts here so for this we need to make some sweep boss faces so go to features sweep boss face select the circular profile and uh, make the diameter 3 select is here enter the diameter value 3 and selection manager select the edges like this click ok as you see the swept is generated and now go to options make sure the merge tangent face is enabled so that we get a unisurface and make sure merge result is not activated click ok and now we need to mirror this swept boss face on the other side so just go to mirror mirror face mirror face should be front plane and bodies to mirror select this swept body and click ok and now as you see it is mirrored about the front plane and now we need to make some cutouts so for this 
we may we need to go to combine option and make sure subtract is selected here and here there are two options main body and bodies to combine so in main body select this one and bodies to combine select these blue ones and click ok so as you see the cutouts are made now we need to make some fillets 2mm and make sure the profile should be circular select this cutout face like this and like this and click ok and now go to fillet again and select here the face fillet and select these faces first these eight faces and then select this face this is the pink surface and then here we need to make a chord width because this fillet looks nicer and as you see the fillet is gener generated and looks very uniform because it is a chord width fillet and change the profile to curvature continuous for more smoother fillets and click ok and now the body is made but we need to check some curvature here and as you see there are some kinks here so for this we need to delete some faces and fill it go to surface delete face select these two faces and these two faces and make sure delete and fill is enabled and the tangent fill is selected and click ok and now if we check the curvature it looks very very good it looks very very good and also the zebra stripes flows very nicely as you see it flows very very nicely so now we need to make some apply some appearances so go to here body in appearances apply the high gloss plastic white click ok and now select these four faces and uh, click on face and apply the appearances and make sure it should be steel set and finish steel click on this box and select the additional faces and similarly on the other side and make sure the color should be this one you can choose what you like and now go to advanced settings illuminations and make sure the specular blurriness is 1.8 because it creates a gradient look and click ok and uh, now select on this face and apply an appearance here go to rubber matte matte rubber and similarly on the other side here as well and click on ok yeah like this now change the appearances go to scenes basic scenes select the backdrop studio room 2 and it looks very very good but it is very far from the ground so for this go here render tools select edit scene and go down 
and click on offset to geometry now it is intact with the ground and now go to here select the color in my case it is white you can keep it what you like keep the background color click ok and now enable the shadows and as you see it looks very good the design looks awesome so now that's all for this tutorial i hope you like the video and that's it thank you all right guys that's all for this lesson now if you want to become a solid works pro by modeling this awesome modern 177 this super yacht this american chopper this tesla roadster and even this boeing 747-8 in solidworks i want to invite you to attend my free solidworks workshop you will find a link to attend this workshop in the description under this video all right guys that's all for now thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and i hope to talk to you soon bye bye